everyone so today I am going to try something I am going to try to make the same painting as crazy as that sounds because I'm always telling people no matter what you can always just pour the same exact thing into the cup and it's gonna turn out different every time so that's exactly what I'm doing um, I had my friend Kyle pick out some colors for me and this is his selection that he made so Let's just get going. I think they're super pretty too. I'm gonna start with the light blue. I'm gonna try to get them as exact as possible. both of them with the purple. Okay, so I feel like I pretty much made the exact same cup. I'm gonna flip it the exact same way. very similar colors obviously but let's see how much they change from each other gonna torch them really quick to get rid of all the air bubbles he definitely picked out some really pretty colors And in this mixture, I only have Floetrol, water, and the acrylic paints that I showed you earlier. Too bad. They are definitely very different, but very similar. I like that. I'm gonna torch them again one more time, really quick. I am in love with this area and this. I can already tell that there's gonna be some very pretty cells. And no, I did not use silicone in any of these cups. So I'm going to let it dry for about probably 15 minutes and then I will do the close up and see where we're at. Okay, we're back. So I have a little bit of paint left and I don't have the heart to 
throw it away. So I'm just going to make like a super mini canvas cup while we're at it. I have to say these turned out so stinking cute. I am in love with these color choices. So good job, Kyle. I was just thinking, I just, I don't have the heart to waste it. There's so much paint left. It's kind of making me think of the one monster from Monsters, Inc., Sully. It's like the color of his fur. And it's making me very happy. And it has such little itty bitty cells. I think just for fun, I'm gonna put a little bit of silicone in there. Because why not? Let me get my torch. And I'm just gonna do a pour. I don't even know if I'm really gonna tilt this one at all. It's funny that the silver didn't take over in any of them except for this one. So that's pretty cute. Okay, I am going to go in for a close up on the big ones now. Pardon my reach. Okay. Can always see my little red light flashing. Ooh, that's pretty. There's some really pretty lace right there. Then we'll do a close up on our little dude. I'm excited to see what happens to him, actually. While I'm right here, I'm just gonna add a couple of drops of silicone to said painting. Now it's totally just going to warp it all. So if you'd like to see how that turns out, you can follow me at, at Panda Paints on Instagram. Or you can follow me on Snapchat at Shira underscore Shazam. But you can tell it's already starting to do its thing. But thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what color combinations you want to see next and make sure to subscribe.